Hello everybody, thank you for watching another video brought to you by Delta Bravo. And in this video, I'll be going over all of the camera mounts that I use when I'm flying. And also at the end, we'll talk about how maybe I can extend the battery life of this Sony action camera. Okay, let's just start by the obvious ones that I have that are just pretty basic that a lot of people probably use anyway. Basically, this is a suction cup mount. And I originally got this because I wanted to do an under the tail view view or try and uh, adhere it or stick it to the side of the airplane. However, when I put it on, I tested it and I noticed it slid around a little bit and I wasn't so sure that it was gonna hold them because you know the aircraft was kind of like maybe dirty, had some dust and dirt on it. So it wasn't getting a very strong suction. I mean, it was, I couldn't pull it off, but I could at least slide it. And I thought maybe the wind could potentially blow it off. So now this is just strictly an inside the cabin camera. I've never tested it outside. So, but it works pretty good on the inside. So usually I'll stick it in up against the uh, windshield and have it as more of the uh, selfie camera. So that's, that is pretty basic, comes with these, um, hinges right here uh, basic gopro mount ones and pretty adjustable and the mount for the cameras which the cameras are being used to record this video so i'm not able to show it there so there's that another one is a very simple one it's a clip a gopro clip basically this one clips on a gopro mount that's already inside of the cessna 172 that i fly and basically just clip it in and it's pretty good one drawback I think is that it's so far back that you know it gets a lot of light from outside and so it'll record what you know everything on the inside pretty good and pretty sharp but when you look out the windows everything is just white it's a washout so you can't really see anything else in the video other than the, the uh, control plan panel of the airplane so now let's talk about more of the other more complicated or sophisticated mounts that I'm using this one for example is the wing strut mount that I use and so far, I've had this for maybe about two years now. It's all metal construction here. I lost the little thumb screw here, but I haven't had any problems with this thing falling off. So uh, basically this screw here is just to hold this um, rubber strap around the, uh, the wing strut. Basically goes in like this, wraps up around there. So you'll get this little nub here through the hole and then you'll just cinch it down here. And that'll hold really good. And I haven't had any issues with uh, this mount strap cracking or wearing away. Um, it is made by Rocksteady, by the way. And they did talk about that this strap is a very durable strap. And yeah, I believe them. It hasn't cracked, it hasn't ripped. There's no, there's no signs of wear or age to it. So I highly recommend this one. You can turn this red um, mount any orientation that you need. So once it's on your angled wing strut, you can change how you want the. So I used to always have um, this camera case and this camera into it and mounted it on top. And I, what I use for that is this aluminum attachment here. Goes into here like that. And this is already threaded. So it comes with this screw here and I would screw it in tight and orient it how I want. So that worked pretty well actually for me. I've had no issues with this. Everything was secured on the wing. Now I got this Sony action camera. It's the FDR-X3000. Records in 4K, 1080p, and uh, different frames per second. Highly recommended. I've had no issues with it. I think it's pretty good. And I got the slim one because I knew I was always going to be flying like this so I felt it was more aerodynamic than one of the GoPros that are kind of square and blocky. Probably doesn't make any difference. I don't think anyone else has had any issues with their GoPros but that was kind of the thought process behind this and it was also uh, more affordable and I think if you see my videos the camera views are pretty pretty good. Um, it also has GPS tracking on here so you can add GPS to your videos. I talked about having this on and then one of the big issues I've had with this is when it records in 4k I only get about 30 to 40 minutes of footage on there and I fly typically around an hour. Obviously I wouldn't get the last 20 minutes of my footage. So I'm just trying to think about what I could do in order to extend the battery life on this. I did have another battery that I could swap out, but obviously I can't change it in the middle of the flight. And another issue I had was um, when it's 
inside of this case, I can't really connect one into it. So I had to do some thinking of how I can maybe bring extra power to the camera. And here's what I thought. Basically, I got myself this dual mount and I'll put all of this stuff in the uh, description so you guys can check it out if you want. It comes with uh, basically two of these and I removed one because I, uh, you'll see why later, but you could have both of these on here and put two cameras if you wanted, but that wasn't my purpose. Basically what I wanted to do was attach the Sony cam to one side of it and bring a portable battery to the other side so that I have a battery on one mount and a camera on the other mount and I connect the cable, the charging cable to it. Here's the solution I found. I got one of these portable battery banks. This one is 3,350 milliamp hours. It's called the X Wingman Solo. So get it and it comes <laughs> Wingman, right? And it comes with a flashlight too. So if you ever need a light while you're flying night ops or something like that, and you wanna you know, take a, do a good uh, pre-flight around the cabin, you can use this for that. It comes into a, in a box like this. It's the uh, X-Sense. And I got this off Amazon actually. So it'll come with the battery, some extraction manuals, and actually also a charging cable. And it's micro USB, which fits the camera perfectly. So anyway, how do I attach this to this strut mount. So first I'll go ahead and attach the dual mount here. Like I said, it is threaded already. Get that nice and tight. Both of these are aluminum parts and uh, they cinch down pretty good and they're very sturdy. Okay, this stays on there like that. And now what I'm going to do is find this, which is another aluminum piece made by tack form, I guess. Nice and small and lightweight but very strong and sturdy. That'll go right here. And then basically the camera has also a mount just for that, but I won't put it on yet because I want to show you guys the other stuff here that I have. For this side, this is what's going to hold on to hold the uh, power bank to. Basically you need to get yourself a mount like this so that you can thread it into the holes of this mount here. And obviously it's a good idea to use some Loctite because when you're flying, you get a lot of vibration and you definitely don't want anything working loose, working itself loose and falling off of the airplane um, because that's basically against FAA regulations. So you don't want things falling off of the air. Well, I'll do, I'll do a Loctite on here after the camera, but basically get yourself some good old thread locker here. I got the blue because I might want to take this off and put something else on there. You could get the red, which is a little bit more permanent but this should do the trick. And then next is if you get yourself one of these mounts, it's basically a GoPro mount and it's a handlebar mount, but I got the uh, really slim one, so one that's not so bulky because I don't want to add a lot of weight and wind resistance to it and affect maybe more things blowing off. So get yourself one of these. It's really nice because this slides out and it comes with this as well. It comes with the metal uh, knob and a wrench for it, which is very nice. Hold on, let's show you this real quick. This is the box it comes in. It's called the Forever Cam brand pole mount. So basically a handlebar mount or pole mount is like this. This is like the size of a handlebar or whatever, which is what I was thinking. So instead of attaching this mount to a handlebar, obviously creative idea here, use it to mount your uh, battery to it. So act like your battery is now your mount. So once you get this mount, basically attach it like you normally would any other GoPro mount. Comes with the nut like I mentioned. Slide your battery bank into it and I'm going to put the power side of it towards the end so that obviously it matches with the power side of this. So all this is just going to be hand tightened for now. Obviously I'd make it a little bit tighter with the wrench. It's, it's spring loaded as well so you can pull back, twist it how you whatever position you need to be in and then go ahead and tighten it down. Let's put the camera on it. And like I said, it comes with a power cable. Just go ahead and plug it in like normal. Make sure you figure that out. And then go ahead and plug it into the camera. So the camera's on and make sure you push the button here to turn on the power bank. And then you can see obviously that the, uh, maybe you can see the, the uh, battery icon there shows a plug, which shows that this camera is being charged by the external battery bank. I do still keep the battery of the camera in there so you'll get the power from here and the power from here if this one runs out. The concept of this is it works 
Now I just have to fly with it and make sure that everything works as it should. I don't want to have any cables blown around, so I might zip tie something here and there or tape things down just to secure it. These things feel like they're in there snug, so I, I don't think they'll pull out. But again, obviously this works in concept and the only way to check it is to go fly with it. So on Monday, I have another flight in a couple of days and we'll go ahead and try it. So this is my wing mount setup with extra battery bank for longer 4K video footage. Okay, so the next mount that I wanna talk about is the tail mount that I just recently got and I've already tested it, so I know that it works as it should. It's very secure. The only thing I haven't tested on it yet is adding the second battery power bank to it. So here's how I do that. The tail mount that I have on the airplane, I mean, there's an O-ring for a tie down, right? And it also has like a metal bar that kind of like is attached under it just maybe for tail strikes i guess so you don't damage the the ring i didn't want to buy the 80 dollars expensive o-ring mount for this idea so basically i got this clamp mount which is only 19 bucks on amazon all metal construction and so i'll show you pictures of this later or video of when i go flying of how i mounted it but this will screw onto the metal um, bar the flat metal bar that's underneath the o-ring and that attaches pretty securely and then give yourself these security straps these are coated with some kind of uh, material on it used marine use and i think they can hold up to 40 pounds or something like that so you'll need something super massive for this thing here this doesn't weigh that much and then i kind of wrap it around get rid of the slack and I secure it to the O-ring with these, uh, with this clip, which I went to Tractor Supply Company and got a bunch of them because it was cheaper to get a bulk pack than one of them. Because obviously I have other ones, for example, when I, I will also secure this camera because it has this slot in it that I can secure a strap at, to it as well and then strap it to the mount and then the mount is strapped to the o-ring so everything is very secure not going to fall off or if something does fall off at least it's still attached by some kind of means okay this c-clamp comes with this ball swivel mount which i really like because you can get it in all kinds of different positions of what you want so basically i'll have it attached here pretend the plane the nose of the plane is in front of me then i just basically get this ball flat or straight out like that cinch it down and then the camera sits on top like this. Now it's pretty secure. Again, I'll strap a security strap to the back of the camera around this mount through inside of here, something like that. And that'll protect the camera from so, falling off. Also get yourself another one of these. So I already showed you this on the wing strut mount, but also you're gonna need something similar like this so that you can attach your bicycle handle mount or pole mount to the C-clamp mount here. I'll put Loctite on this again, obviously. And this comes with a lot of holes, by the way. Go ahead and pick one. I picked this one. I think this is the best location for one. We'll go ahead and do another half turn because you wanna make sure it's oriented in the right spot. And then obviously go ahead and stick this in like you normally would for any GoPro mount. Also comes, it comes with the uh, metal nut mount here. This is already threaded, so you're not gonna lose any nuts. Actually, this is the bolt. I called it a nut, right? Nut mount, but it's a bolt. And use your wrench to tighten it down as you need. Now, by the way, I did have a plastic one here, a bicycle mount. Let me get that real quick off camera. So I had a plastic bicycle pole mount there and I originally used it and it did work. The problem is when I cinched it down really tight, I noticed some white lines here where the uh, bends are and I was like, oh, that's, uh, I got it really tight because I obviously don't want it to fall off and I was thinking there's a weak spot there and eventually that would crack and break off. So don't go super cheap and use your plastic ones, get a metal one. This wasn't too pricey um, and it'll work really well for you better than the plastic one. It'll last longer and everything. So I'll put the link also in the description. So anyway, however you need to route the uh, USB cable all the way through to your camera. Turn the battery power bar, battery power bank on. Turn the camera on. Okay, and then you can confirm that it works because you can see the battery icon here has the charging icon now, the uh, plug. So that's my setup 
for the tail view mount under the Cessna plane. Hopefully this is gonna give me a full one hour footage of 4K video footage and I'll fly on Monday. I'll uh, do another quick video there, add it to this video and give you guys a final solid review. Okay guys, I finally got the Sony cam connected to the tail of the aircraft here. Here's that bar I was talking about earlier that is underneath the uh, tail tie down ring there. And so the clamp is clamped on there pretty good pretty tight and then I've got the security strap just connected to the tie down just make sure everything is clear of the flight controls here the rudder and everything and as you can see here we do have the battery plugged in and you can see it's charging we have this spare battery pack here so we're gonna try this out and make sure that it works and we'll give you guys an update after I touch down okay all right, looks like we got two hours and seven minutes of footage here with the uh, spare battery. If you like what you see guys here, go ahead and quick, click like, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any better ideas or any ways to improve this or maybe I forgot something, but in the grand scheme of things, uh, this works for me. What may work for me might not work for you, but it might give you guys some extra ideas of what you could do to improve your own camera mount setup and adding a battery power, power bank. And this whole setup here probably costs maybe about $30, $35. And plus you get more options here to add a power bank versus the $80 uh, tie down mount that you can get on Amazon or eBay. And I think it's a much better value and it works great for me. All right, so that's the video guys. Thanks for watching and please tune in to the next video. We'll see you next time.